Kinetica is really fast. It can run queries hundreds of times faster than other distributed databases. Let's see how. Most distributed databases offer parallelization at the level of DAS. Let's look at this more closely. Imagine that you had a large column of data A. You want to perform a simple analytical task, which is to add 5 to every element in column A. You have access to a distributed database with 4 nodes. The first step in task level parallelization is to split the data between the different nodes. The best way to do that in this scenario would be to split the data into equal parts. Next, we split the task. That is, each node can perform the task of adding 5 to its portion of the data. Individual outputs from each node can then be combined to get the final results. This is task level parallelization. For most databases, parallelization stops here with tasks because instructions inside each node are executed in a sequential manner. Let's look at this more closely. With sequential execution, each element in the column is treated individually. So we start by adding 5 to the first element 15 and then to 63, 2, 193 and so on. So in the sequential mode, each piece of data is handled one after the other in sequence. But there is a better way to do this. And this is using vectorization. Vectorization requires processing chips that allow for data level parallelism, like the Intel's AVX 512 CPU chip and GPU chips from NVIDIA. Notice how with vectorization, the same instruction of add 5 is being applied to multiple pieces of data at the same time. This is orders of magnitude faster than the sequential mode where each piece of data was handled in sequence. This is the additional layer of parallelism that makes Kinetica much faster than other solutions that rely solely on task-level parallelism.